and welcome back to another video. We are back in the Fiat Doblo Micro Camper. Uh, we're not filming too much on this today, but what we are filming is uh, a product review. I've been sent uh, a product, in fact, five inch digital, digital wireless rear view camera, uh, the FX11F. I'll provide all the details in the description about that as well. Uh, we're gonna be fitting it to this camper van. Um, when I've looked into it, it's a relatively easy fit. Um, they contacted me, asked me would I uh, have a look at reviewing this product, and it fits in brilliantly with, with, with what I do. Uh, it's going to be fitted to this camper, so when this goes up for sale, uh, it will be with this as well. What I particularly like about this model is, one, it's wireless. So there's only a little bit of wiring that you've, uh, you've got to contend with. Obviously, the, the back lights where we're going to pick up on. Uh, but for when a camper's already converted, this is great as an aftermarket product. The front just plugs into the cigarette lighter. The back, a little bit of wiring on the, the lights, but not much. So there's no permanent cable that's got to go front to back. So anybody that's got a camper that's wanting one of these can fit one after. The other thing that I like about this as well, is that it's going to lend itself to so many different camper vans and motor homes. For example, this one. Visibility at the back isn't great. There is a window, uh, but it doesn't give you the full visibility at the back. Uh, and it's same with a lot of other motor homes and camper vans. Um, whether it's seats that's blocking the view, whether you've no, you know, com completely blocked off altogether, all, all this will help you uh, as a reversing aid. Okay, so ready for unboxing. So this is the FXT FX11F digital wireless rear view uh, set, basically. So uh, quick look at the features. Uh, we've got it's waterproof, uh, wide angle camera, a five inch color display, night vision, uh, wireless transmission, and quite a good screen actually, 720p, and, and it's also a DVR. So it's gonna record anything that it picks up on the camera. So let's have a quick look inside, straight off. That is our five inch color display. Obviously you get the manuals and everything else how to use it. Uh, and then underneath here, straight off, that is our rear view camera. So that will going to be fitted towards the back. We've got a couple of uh, extra long wires there to pick up on the, uh, the wiring that we need. Uh, monitor charger, so there we go straight into the cigarette socket. The good thing what I like about this is um, when it's mounted, and that's the point that's going to be mounted onto the screen, you can disconnect this, unplug it, disconnect it, hide it away, either take it out of the vehicle or put it in your glove box so it's out of sight um, for, th for theft reasons, but uh, I do like that. So what we'll do now, we'll, uh, we'll jump into a time lapse and we'll show this being fitted in the front and we'll show the camera fitted on the back.
this all fitted now as you can see little camera there quite central to the rear of the vehicle luckily the uh, this door is wider uh, than the other one so I've managed to get that further over which is quite central uh, and you can tell actually on the on the camera so everything's back now on the inside took the trimming off uh, run the wire through you saw me filtering through this uh, this rubber part here we've gone down the back sill here gone down this point here and onto the I didn't show the wiring of the back light simply because everyone's going to be different this was relatively quite easy because there was a separate wire for the reversing wire on this one which made things a lot easier uh, but it's a simple case of just testing with a multimeter to, to find out which one it is uh, let's jump into the cab now and let's see it working Right, okay, we're in the cab area now, as you can see. Uh, we've got everything set up. Uh, we're plugged in, we're ready to go. Um, let's get the ignition on. Screen is on, we're in reverse, and there we are. Very nice picture, actually. Very clear. Um, let's just run through a few of the features that we've got on top here. We've got a, a couple of buttons to to go through. Uh, as you can see the lines here, we've got the red, yellow and green, it's obviously a distance thing. You can turn them off, so that's the first button. Looking at what we've got next is, you can actually flip the screen on this, let me put this back on here. So, you want to flip the screen, now you can run two cameras with this. Uh, so for example, now as we are at the minute, we've got a camera fitted to the back of the camper. Uh, just for, for example, uh, we fitted this to a car, um, and then you added a caravan on the back. Obviously, the only thing you're going to see there is the front of the caravan. So you can actually place a second camera on the caravan, which you can also link up to. Um, you can flip the screen round to change it over. Obviously, upside down, that's if you fit it differently as well. But you can split screen this as well. So you can change it through, and then you can split screen. Now, as this is at the minute, we haven't got a second camera, so obviously there's the first one, what we fitted, and this would be where the, the second camera would come into play. So you can choose either one camera, or the second camera, or both together. Uh, then obviously we have a menu uh, settings, and we've got the purring button there, but we, it's automatically done it for this one, so we don't need to do it on that. You can adjust the picture quality. We've got uh, the settings on there as well, which we can run through, and we've got the play device. Uh, I've just run through this a couple of times. It's basically just showing the last couple of recordings that we've got. And then obviously got a recording button on there. Uh, there's a feature for formatting the, the SD card, which is in. We've already got one in this as well, um, which you can do through the device. Uh, and that is roughly about it. Um, I've had a look at this uh, at the night time. Uh, I tried this last night. The picture is absolutely crystal clear. Uh, I can't fault it at all. Uh, and it was raining as well. Um, the, the pitch quality was fantastic. I'm really impressed with this. I'm going to put some um, links in, in the description. Uh, you can go over to their website um, and have a look at the, the products they've got. They've also got a sale on at the minute, uh, which I highly recommend you go and have a look at. Uh, but brilliant product. Uh, it's a really good addition to the micro camper. Right, and that is, is it for this video. Uh, a big thank you to the team at FXT for supplying us with this dash cam. Fantastic product. Like I said, go and check it out in the, uh, in the description. The links are in there for you to have a look at. Many thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.